Yung... Right, it's a very special day, so I think we should all first of all raise our glass. Thomas. Thomas. Go and say to, to Mick him. because it's a birthday today. Uh, <laughs> happy, happy birthday, Mick! Thomas, go and say happy birthday to Mick. Happy birthday! Yeah, we're going to do it. Was there anything else? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I'm going to say, Carol, have you got anything, have you got any dirt on your dad you could read out? Not personally. Not per- No, but I did get a message from a couple of people that Ooh. would like to um, send you a story. This the dirt. This might be the dirt, maybe. Um, they are Tony and Kath. Now, can you tell me who Tony and Kath are? Who are they? Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Obvious. So they're down in Cornwall. So they're down in Cornwall. They're sorry they can't you know. be with you today. Tony and Kath? No. 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 Sorry. No. 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 Yeah. So he sent a message, and I'm going to read it out to you. First of all, it's hi John. Sorry I can't be with you on this fabulous occasion, but wishing you a great day on your 80th birthday. It doesn't seem so long ago that we were chasing each other, oh yeah, around on windsurfers, sometimes me towing you back, but that was all part of the fun. And of course, the fishing days on the Indian Ocean. So where did you meet? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. What great times we had. Love to Margaret and wishing that we can all get together again in the near future. Cheers to you and have a fun day from Tony. There's more. To celebrate John's 80th birthday, we have a little seafaring story you may like to hear. <laughs> John may or may not remember. At the time, John and Margaret were living in Hoog in Kent. Tony and I had travelled to see them both for a long weekend, and John and Margaret had invited us for a sail to France. Wow. All four of us boarded good tidings and sailed into the estuary in the evening where we dropped anchor and took the little boat to the pub for an evening meal. All okay. Perhaps a little bit rocky after a couple of drinks. We then proceeded to return to good tidings on the little boat. Tony and I had been allocated quarters in the bow of the boat. It was an experience and the rocking of the boat sent us to sleep quite quickly. The next morning we set sail for Calais. John had looked at the weather forecast and the weather overnight made a turn for the worse. Oh my goodness, we've been there. <laughs> the wind had got up, the sea was very choppy and rough and Cathy had to be tied by a rope to the deck rails <laughs> as she was being sick over the side and John didn't want her falling overboard. Everyone else seemed okay. Typical. And, uh, typical. Tie them, tie them on. Tony had the opportunity to take the helm which he thoroughly relished. All the while Kath was heaving overboard. Sailing time in the high winds progressed until we arrived at the mouth of Calais. Could we, uh, could we sail straight in? No way. The wind was still howling. John, in his expertise, had to tap for ages in order to get good tidings lined up to enter the harbour. <laughs> Eventually, we docked, especially to the relief of everyone and their hard work in getting us there. And, of course, to the relief of Cathy, who could eventually be untied. <laughs> A very enjoyable time was had in Calais, but the weekend was still marred by this very bad weather. On the Sunday, there was still no abatement in the strong winds 
and it was decided that Margaret, Tony and Cathy would just have to get the ferry back as foot passengers as they all had to go to work on Monday. We left John on the boat who eventually returned many days later and Margaret, and Tony and Cathy red wine. <laughs> yes <laughs> and Margaret, Tony and Cathy had a sheltered return crossing to Dover. Cathy thankful that she didn't have to be tied to those decks again. <laughs> Yay! Yay! That wasn't the end of the story. No. <laughs> Come on. The end of the story was that they had gone to the supermarket in Cali and stocked up the booze and loaded it all onto my boat. And it was stocked up with booze and they, the majority of the people who were on it, all went back and left me with the customs to explain why <laughs> 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 And on top of that, I had a, a, a ball bearing gun. Uh, ball bearing... A BB gun. Uh, uh, BB gun. Uh, yeah, yeah, BB gun. Uh, okay, which I'd used some... some time, Barcelona. Some, bit, 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 bit in Barcelona. <laughs> and I, I had a bit of trouble on the box. I bought this ball bearing but gun. Uh, with the advice from the police? With the advice, no, no, not the advice of the police, the advice sure. of the port fishermen. The port fishermen. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and then the customs found this gun, thought it was a real one. <laughs> and, <laughs> and ladies' clothes. Uh, and then, and then, and then, and then, all these ladies' clothes. Oh, yeah, of course. And, 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 and just, uh, yeah. I think it might be the No. no. Uh, anyhow, the, 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 the thing was that uh, I had a job explaining everything, but uh, they accepted in the end. <coughs> so it's going to arrest me for the gun. But because they said it was a firearm, I said, a firearm, fire is fire. This is fire, this is firing now, it's not, a, it's another pistol, not a firearm, but they have one, they said it's a firearm, so, you know, yeah. I had to accept it, it's so, you know, so they let me off. And, and apparently the young yeah. customs officer, the girl, yeah. was flinging it about. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> and right. And, and yeah. that, and that yeah. got me off the hook for yeah. all the booze that I had in, I the, board. In, in, in the front of the boat, it was all loaded up with booze, well over my limit, and the the, funny enough, the customs had never ever come on to my boat before when I came in from France or any other no. place. But yeah. this particular day, they did. Yeah. <laughs> they caught me, but yeah. I got over it. Right, John, we're yeah. now got, not going to dish the dirt on you. Diane is going to dish the dirt. Oh no, it's only a little card. Well, come on over there. Go oh, first. Come on. Like, dish the dirt on your family. Uh -huh. It says to John. <laughs> Just can't believe you're 80. Well, now is the time to come clean and gross. Oh, sorry, and grass on your brother Peter. <laughs> when we were young and we were away in the army, we would use the Morris Minor <laughs> and go to the chippy. Ooh, go to the eh? chippy. Peter would drive and we would pile in. Um, and on one occasion, people tra Peter trapped his fingers in the door. But we have to suffer in silence and hope and hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and boy, and boy, the fish and chips were good. <laughs> 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 Right, some more dirt. Oh, that's not fair, baby. Some, no, we've got something here. I think Paul's been <laughs> investigating. No. Saying that, there's another little message on there from, from um, yeah. Captain Tony as well. Right, yeah. I happen to have, you stand over here. Me? Well, you stand there. Oh, oh yeah. Come back with me, drink. I need me drink. So, I happen to. Oh, it's too old for me. I need two hands. Because. These two hands. Yeah. So. I've pulled a few strings and I've gone back in time and I've pulled John's old army file Ooh. Ooh. and I've got the file from the day he joined from his recruitment officer which is written down. Do you know who your old recruitment officer was? No. You don't? Okay. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but on the day John attended his army selection centre he was able to spell his name 
<laughs> Which exempted him from the Pioneer Corps. <laughs> he was also washed, shaved, and could speak a known language. So infantry units were ruled out. <laughs> His officer explained to the uh, he explained to the interviewer that he could mend a puncture on a bicycle. So he was overqualified for the Royal Electrical and Mechanics Engineers. <laughs> John had, no, John had no desire to jump out of a perfectly good aircraft, so the parachute regiment was out too. He knew the name, it's a shame Gary's not here actually, because he knew the name of his father, so the Royal Military Police was also out of the question. He turned up with the right kit at the right place at the right time, so the Royal Logistics Corps was pointless. He dislikes the thought of sitting in a metal box with four or more smelly men playing cards all day, so this ruled out the tankies. <laughs> he explained he could boil an egg without burning the water. So an army chef was also at the question. He was asked if he liked girls, and as he had one on the go, <laughs> young, sweet, innocent girl. Oh, he was struck off from the, the Royal Ar and Army Air Corps. Uh -huh. <laughs> He could count to more than five. <laughs> John could count to more than five, so Royal Artillery. And as he liked to drink, or maybe a lot to drink, the signals was put to one side, quick smart. John mentioned he loved to build sandcastles as a child. <laughs> so with a sigh, his recruiter, duly opened. <laughs> Yeah. John mentioned he loved to build sandcastles as a child, so with his size, recruiter duly opened the top drawer mm -hmm. and took out a large golden envelope which had marked for the issue of the most magnificent bastards only. And he gave it to John. <laughs> and there and then, John enlisted in Her Majesty's Corps of the Royal Engineers. And behold, a sapper was born. And I believe he's never regretted a single day. John's expertise as a rugged engineer built this deck, mm. built this cover, oh. and helps him out in my bottle. And, and he's going to fix my gate. <laughs> and, he's going, <laughs> and he's going to fix Tim, the gate later. I'm so a you can. So you'll oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do my Boys and girls, stand up. Oh. Special occasion. This is your drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to drink. Oh, there we go. Neil, pass that to me, please. Thank you. Just wonderful. Aww. And you look after it. <laughs> and you put up with us. Yeah. And you do our jobs for us. And we we all love you. Oh. And we hope you're here forever and ever because oh, you've moved here nice. for us and and Mummy has as well and and I'm just grateful for that. So oh. Oh. <laughs> Dan, get a beer in his hand and let the man have a drink. Happy beer day! Happy beer day! Happy beer day! Happy beer day! Happy birthday. Cheers. 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 And it's my dad too. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dad too. Cheers, people. I did say that. I did say that. I'm not going to